Aloha, welcome to KTA Kitchens. My name is Chef Maka, and today we're gonna to do a potato scaled mahi with sauce barouge. So for our dish, we're gonna need some uh, fresh mahi-mahi, so, uh, any kind of potatoes you want, a um, little bit of Italian parsley, some whole butter, salt, pepper, honey, a little bit of olive oil, and of course some red wine, which we're gonna reduce later. We got this beautiful mahi here. We're gonna put some parsley leaves right on top, and we'll season with salt and pepper. And when you choose your mahi, you know, just make sure it's nice and white or pink and it doesn't smell fishy. If it smells fishy, don't buy it. Okay, so we got pepper and uh, I got this potato that I kind of trimmed a little bit. And if it's too big, buy smaller ones or you can cut it down with a knife. Japanese man, I'm going to slice it thin. Don't cut your finger off. Okay, and we're going to recreate scales like you see on a fish with these potatoes. So here we go. Line them up pretty like this. And if you don't got a mandolin, you can use a knife or you can use a potato peeler or um, don't use them at all. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and season the top of the fish again. I'm gonna season the potatoes now. And then we're gonna go into a nice hot nonstick pan about medium high heat with a little bit of olive oil, which I have right behind me heating up. Little oil, okay. Turn the heat up a little bit more. We want to make sure the the heat is is the heat is higher, so it can sear in the potato skins on top of the fish and give it a nice caramelization on it for about maybe three to four minutes. And when we're done with that, we're gonna flip the fish over for a couple more minutes. Put it inside. Uh, put it on top of a uh, baking pan and put it into the oven for about 350 for about another two, three minutes. We're gonna put the uh, potato scales down so we can sear it in. Okay, there you go. All five of them. So I'm flipping the fish over and if, you, if you're not comfortable, with, if it's dark enough, just take a peek at it. Not dark enough, flip it back over. I lost the scale, there we go. So these two are kind of, that's the kind of color that we want right here. These three may be a little bit a lot while longer. Fish in the pan, guys. Into the oven, 350, couple minutes. Finish the sauce in the saute pan, all right? We got the pan nice and clean. We're gonna pour a couple of cups of red wine in it. So I have my sauce reduced about five, six minutes or so to about a quarter cup. I'm gonna add my honey to sweeten up that red wine. And that's about a, maybe a tablespoon's worth of honey. And of course, whisk it around or shake the pan. Or use a spoon or use a whisk. And we're gonna go back and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Turn your heat down when you're whisking in your butter. If the heat's too high, it's gonna like break this sauce, which we don't want. We wanna just emulsify the whole butter into the reduction of wine, okay? So here we go. And with the back of the spoon, is slowly incorporate that butter into your sauce, okay? Okay, our sauce is ready, and um, people also ask, how do you know when your sauce is ready? Well, if you look at the spoon, and you see it coat the back of a spoon, you kind of wipe with your finger, it's ready. And if it tastes great like that, it's, it's ready to go. Our sauce is done, our fish is done. We're ready to assemble. And if you, want, if you want, you can put this in a little saucepan or like a, um, um, a ceramic bowl and leave it by your stove here while it's warm until you're ready to use it. But if you keep it in the refrigerator, you, you keep it somewhere where it's like air blowing out, it's gonna, it's gonna settle up, the butter's gonna get hard, and you lost your sauce. Best time to use is right now, okay? So there you go, leave it on the plate. Pretty presentation, nice white plate, okay? We get our fish right on top of there. Look at that dish, isn't that beautiful? Our dish is done. Our potato scud mahi with our sauce barouge, accompanied by a beautiful red wine, a cabernet. And now it's time to eat it. This is Maka Kwan saying thank you very much for watching KTA Kitchens and we'll see you next time.